Hi there campers, Nicole and Walter here to uh, show you some really cool things you can do at home with some things that are lying around your house. Now, um, make sure you get permission from your parents before doing these things because uh, they can kind of be messy sometimes. So today we are going to show you how to make marbled paper using shaving cream and food coloring. So it's really easy. For this project, the things that you're going to need are a panda. Yeah, you don't need the panda. Um, some shaving cream. You want to be sure to get the type that can um, foam. So not the gel kind, just old, good old fashioned, inexpensive shaving cream. Food coloring. Toothpicks. A surface to do your marbleization. Um, so what I'm going to use is a cutting board and I'm going to put foil on top of it. And then I'm going to use some paper. Now the best type of paper for this is watercolor paper or um, a cardstock. So something that's a little bit heavier weight. It does work okay with other paper, but these are going to be your best. Um, if you have a paint stick or a ruler that you don't mind getting a little dye on, that works too because you can do several different sheets um, with just one covering. So I'm going to pause this video and get set up for that and then we'll see you soon. This also gives you some time to gather those supplies. All right, welcome back. I uh, hope you were able to find those supplies and remember to ask your parents uh, before starting this project. Um, so Walter and I are going to, and I'm going to show you real quick here. I've got my foil and everything, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this shaving cream, and we're just going to cover the surface. Now, you don't need it to be really, really thick, just a little bit. I know, it's fun, isn't it, Walter? Okay. So, and then um, make sure it's just a little bit smoothed out. Don't eat it, it doesn't taste very good. Mmm, suspicious. Okay. So, I'm gonna show you real quick again. So I've just covered the foil um, with shaving cream. Now what I'm gonna do is use my food coloring and just do a couple of drops around it. Um, so I'm gonna use some orange. So I'm gonna tilt it again just so you can see what I'm doing, okay? So you get a couple of drops. Like so. And you can get whatever colors you want. I'm gonna put some pink and some orange. A little bit of purple. Ah. Yeah, messy, huh? So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your toothpick and you're going to want to kind of swirl it around and this will create that marbleization look. So I'm going to show you what that looks like real quick here. So you're just going to go kind of mix it in. Now you don't have to use food coloring. You can use Kool-Aid or anything else. It's going to kind of work as a dye. Um, and you know what? I'm going to see if my finger works a little bit. Now the... Um, Liquid food coloring will work better for this. Um, I just have the gel kind, uh, just because that's what was available. But you want to create a cool looking pattern. So I'm going to pick this up a little bit more just so you can see it, okay? So you're going to swirl and make just a fun little mess there. And then once you have a design that you like, you're going to take your paper and you're gonna lightly put it on top of the shaving cream and the dye, okay? You kind of pat it just a little bit. All right, Walter. 
and then you're gonna lift the paper up. Okay, so you're gonna have this awesome, ridiculous mess on it. Actually, I'm gonna put it down again. Pat a little bit harder. Okay, so there you go. You should have this awesome, ridiculous mess. Now, the really fun part is, um, if you scrape this off, the shaving cream off, you're gonna get your really cool marbleized paper. Just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish wiping this down. And you can reuse the shaving cream if you wanna do a different um, color. All you need to do is just kinda of take off that top layer and then you'll get a new layer of shaving cream to use. But you're welcome to continue using the design you created. And once you take it off, you will have some fun marbleized paper. Now for this, you can use it to make cards or uh, boxes or any kind of fun things, um, little photo albums. It's really fun and cool. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them on our Facebook page. And we hope you had fun with us today. Stay safe and have fun.